let's talk about this thing that we need to stop being ashamed of. Now, let me tell you a trend I have seen in my life, in my friends' lives, and a lot of women I work with. Here's a pattern. You do something awesome. Let's say you have a big win at work, you get a promotion, you run a marathon, you do something amazing. And people find out about it, they congratulate you, they tell you how awesome you are, what a big deal that is, and here's what you do. Oh, it was nothing. Oh, I mean, oh, <laughs> nothing. I mean, it was, it was really no big deal. It was really no big deal. Like, do you do that? Yes, you do that. I know you do that. I have seen you do that. Here's another example. This is a more common day-to-day -day example. Let's say you decide to host your family for dinner, family dinner. You're gonna have the aunts, the uncles, the extended family, everybody's coming to the dinner table, and you spend hours preparing for this meal. You put so much love into this meal, you wanna make it just perfect, and you do, and so what happens? You're sitting around the dinner table. What do people say? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The table settings are so beautiful. This is delicious. And what do you say? I mean, it's, it's nothing. I just threw it together. Just, just threw it. Just got some things from the pantry. Just threw it. It just magically appeared this way. Listen to me. No, it didn't. You know, it took you four hours, 27 steps, 900 ingredients, and scrolling through the Pioneer Woman website over and over and over again to make that happen. You know it did. So when they say, oh my gosh, it's amazing, and you say it's nothing, you're lying. Here's another example, and this is so common. You do it, I do it, I catch myself doing it all the time. You buy a new outfit. You buy a new outfit because it's cute. You look cute, you feel cute, the outfit is cute, and then someone says to you, oh my gosh, you look so cute. You, oh, <laughs> this whole thing, oh, I just, I don't know, it was on sale, got it on the discount rack. Listen, why are you telling the world about all the sales? All you have to do is say thank you. When you say, no, it's not a big deal, oh, this whole thing, you're lying. You know you bought that outfit because you look cute. But here's what we do. We disagree with the nice things that people say about us. We diminish the truth in their words, and we downplay the great things going on in our lives. We dismiss our success. We are ashamed of the awesome thing we've done. We downplay our strengths. We dismiss their compliments. And we think we're doing it under the banner of humility, and we're not. When you disagree with a nice truth someone has spoken about you, you are not being humble. You are lying. You're being a liar. And here's the reality. It's false humility and it's not helping you, and it's not helping the other person. Let's just unpack this for a second of all of the reasons that this is a problem. Problem number one, it's not even true. What you're saying, oh, this whole thing, I just threw it together, it's nothing, is a lie. That's not true. You didn't throw it together. The food did not magically appear. The table settings did not appear on the table like something out of Beauty and the Beast. They just put themselves in that position. It didn't happen magically. You worked hard to make that happen, so you're lying. Problem number one. Problem number two, you're disagreeing with this person. Like, they're going out on a limb and they're saying something nice to you and about you and for you, and you're like, ah, uh, let me tell you why you're wrong. You think I'm cute? Let me tell you why I'm not. You think this is delicious? Let me tell you why it's not. You're disagreeing with them. You're being argumentative when someone is being kind to you. But here's the third and maybe most important problem with this. You are damaging your own sense of self-confidence. Because whether you realize it or not, the words you speak shape your beliefs about yourself. So if all day, every day, you say, oh, it's nothing, you begin to feel like nothing. Those words you speak have life in them, and you begin to believe them and live from them, whether they're true or not. Women, I have got to help us get out of this idea that this is humility. This is not humility. 
This is false humility. It's untrue and it's a problem. If you wanna know what real humility is, let's talk about what real humility is. Real humility is gratitude. It's being grateful. It's realizing that all of this stuff from your good dinners to your hard work to your promotions to your success to your cute outfits to your table setting is all God's anyway. And you hold these things with open hands going, it's all God's anyway and I'm so grateful for it and proud of it. That's humility. Real humility is realizing that all of the amazing things in your life are God's anyway. False humility is saying those things are not really amazing. Let me give you an example. Several months ago, my husband and I decided to get my son Conley a new bike for his birthday. He had outgrown his old bike and he was ready for a larger size and we were so excited to give it to him. We got him a red one because his favorite color is red and we have absolutely loved seeing Conley ride his bike around the neighborhood, enjoy his bike, be proud of his bike, be so excited. Even if it's cold outside, mommy, can we go ride my bike? Mommy, we go ride my bike. He's so proud of this bike. He's so grateful for this bike. Imagine how sad I would be if he was ashamed of that bike. I could just imagine if our, if our neighbors that we're friends with came over and Conley said about his bike, his gift from us that love him so much, if he said, oh, this whole thing? Oh, oh, it's really nothing. Oh, it's, I mean, it's really no big deal. I mean, it's really not that awesome. I'd be so sad if my son was ashamed of the gift that I gave him. And I can't imagine how God must feel when we are apologizing for the gifts he's given us, when we are ashamed of the success he's given us, when we dismiss it, downplay it, apologize for it. Do you know that you don't need to apologize for the blessings in your life. God doesn't need you to downplay, dismiss, wish away, pretend they're no big deal. He doesn't need you to. I believe all he asks of us in his word is to be grateful, to go, thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you for my work ethic. Thank you, this meal turned out well. And thank you for this cute outfit because I look cute and I feel cute. That we would appreciate the gifts and the blessings in our life, that we would be grateful for our success and not ashamed of our success, to know that our success came from God anyway. Our hard work for sure, because we are faithful with what he's given us. We are good stewards of our gifts, our talents, our strengths, our resources. But again, we would point back to the giver of those gifts and go, thank you, God. And what's amazing is those two simple words are the most appropriate, most truthful, and most helpful words we can say when anyone says anything nice about us. So the next time someone compliments your outfit or your meal or congratulates you on your promotion and your success, don't wish it away, don't dismiss it, and don't argue with that person. Instead, say two simple, powerful words, words that affirm the truth in their words, words that agree with them, and words that help you continue to show gratitude and build confidence at the same time. Simply say, thank you.